it going? Yep. Well, Alexander deleted the footage. We've been in the car for 14 hours. My hair is greasy. Everything's greasy. I got a little bit of splash, but ain't nothing a problem here in Montana. Alright Evan, where are we? We're at the Staples in beautiful Butte, Montana. Just got our licenses printed for 46 cents. Why do we have to print our licenses? Because I'll tell you what, Montana's a sham. $50 for a two-day license. In Idaho, we're looking at 53 I don't have that days. kind of money. Do you have that kind of money? No. I work at Fleet Farm. So, now we're driving to Idaho. The coolest part about this trip is that we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we have absolutely no idea where we're sleeping tonight. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> Because we have food and shelter and water. Do we have water though? We need some water. Driving through Montana right now on Highway 43. We're about 30 miles. Seeing as Isaac's going 85 miles per hour, we'll be there in about 10 minutes. So then we're in Idaho and we need to find a campground. We have no idea where we're going. Like, I don't even know if there's campgrounds there. Hey, stay on me. And, uh, then we're gonna drive to the Frank Church tomorrow and hike in, even though last week doesn't want to, but we're gonna convince him. Those are what we call wild dogs here. We're entering what we call the lawless zone. Things like this happen when there's no police around. Roll down the back window. They appear to be hunting birds. Let's stay, let's keep the windows up. This is dangerous. They're covered in mud with All no right, Roll the window up. <laughs> and let's leave, please. That is a mutt. <laughs> Holy the wild dogs. That one's hobbling. Yeah, dude, I feel bad for them. I dude. feel bad, but what the? Put some clown on. Yeah. All right, so we are well into Idaho now. We stumbled upon some archaic structure there, probably made by some of the earliest settlers of this region. Here we've got a nice creek, barren of life, no fish to be found. So we're gonna keep heading on, looking for a campground. See you there. Hello, we're here, the campground. We decided on uh, Twin Creek Campground. It's It's, I shouldn't say it's, it's not There's it's, a lot of people. It's what you'd expect. Yeah, it's what you'd, you'd expect uh, being so close to salmon, but not in the wilderness. How far off the road are we? We're like a half mile off the road. In a, a campground with a, uh, Four foot yeah, that that's pretty large. But uh, we're gonna set up camp. We're gonna get something to eat. We're gonna sleep because none of us have slept more than five hours in the past like 48 hours. So we're gonna hit it.
feast on these. Oh. Well, we've run into a bit of a situation. Uh, old Getsky decided to buy some Oscar Mayer brand hot dogs. That's where they all ended up, right there. They're right there. Bear bait, that's what I call it. Look at the Not grill. good. Tell me that doesn't look just So it's Coke for dinner, boys. I I'm hope you feel good about yourself. It's about 7 a.m. Real chilly out here. Yeah. Wishing I had a sweatshirt. I have to out, make do with this long sleeve. Here. We didn't know that. <sighs> Unprepared. Time to get this tent down and get out of here. Hitchhiker named Mike. He was doing some fly fishing, needed a ride, only had a bike. So, uh, as he would call it, we drove him up in the rig. He gave us 20 bucks. Didn't get shanked or shot or shanked or shivved. Autobots roll out. So, the forest service has just stopped. Now you can check for our fishing lessons here. This spot has been a bust. We're going to our final destination, hopefully, at Marsh Creek, where maybe we'll catch a damn fish. Can we get a update? Yeah, uh, Jeremy Wade over there. He yeah. took a little time to get packed. We're all good though. We, it's still like, what is it, 5 o'clock, 4.30, 3.30, 2.30? It's like 3. It's, it's like some, 3. Sometime in the afternoon. 3 o'clock, we've been here about an hour. Two hours. Finally packed. How's morale? Morale's pretty average. I wouldn't say it's the lowest it's been by far because we, we hit a low this morning but yeah. uh i mean it's good we're out here and we're all excited to be out here but like where are we and why are we here i'll tell you where we are we're at marsh creek five miles away from where it joins bear creek or big hole river is it big, big hole river or? bear creek where it joins bear creek to form the middle fork of the salmon river which is what we're hiking to hoping to catch some fish Gimme. Still gotta attach that to my sack somehow. Got a fanny pack, pretty cool. It's lit. Good it is, dude. Some bag issues? Oh uh, yeah, I was having some earlier. Oh, that was a picture. Um, pretty much just with the uh, the tent pretty on the much bottom. Let's keep hiking. 
it kept slipping out. Yeah, we can't stop. Alrighty, so update, we hiked in five miles. We are now at the confluence of Marsh Creek and Bear Creek. Behind us is the oh, mountain, but then the beautiful Middle Fork Salmon River, about uh, 200 feet from its confluence. I mean, it's looking pretty good for fishing. Nothing too great, but then again, nothing too bad. Um, we're looking for a campsite or a place to camp, not necessarily a campsite. And uh, we came across this. Um, it's some bear feces, but it's black bear feces, so we're not too worried. As you can see, it's purple and stuff, so it's obviously been eating berries, no human meat or anything. Um, it's pretty big, but not too large. I guess we're continuing the search for a campsite or a place to camp, and uh, we'll get back at you when we find a campsite. And we're all set up. <clears throat> all right, so this is a campsite. Got the tent, miscellaneous gear. The gear tent is down there. Them fools down there cooking dinner. I'm munching on these freeze-dried apples. Pretty good. Just tied this rock to the rope that we will hang our food with. Live. So this is an MRE. MR. Um, it's I got, it well. it's convenient, versatile, lightweight, long shelf life, and food for every pallet. All you gotta do is take some river water, Run it through a filter, boil it, add it to this pouch, give her a good old shake. This one's uh, chicken and dumpling. I believe that one is Santa Fe black beans and rice. Give her a good shaking, and then we let them sit Let's for. Those uh, dumplings look like, actually. And we let them sit for about 10 minutes. They should be good to go. It's Ooh, looking that's good. Sauce. It's looking like a good old stew in there. That is a stew, all right. You want to look at the black beans? It is Friday the 20th, and it is the morning. We've just woken up. Last night there was definitely some large animal that walked through our camp. About 20 feet away from the tent, it was pretty, pretty scary. Um, I already went and checked on the bear bag, everything's all good. Um, now we gotta make some breakfast and get to fishing. What do you have for breakfast, Evan? Granola and milk. That's great. This is what we need. Morale booster. So we're heading out on a day hike slash fishing trip. The boys are over here hanging them food and for the day. Good to go. So stay away. We're heading down the Middle Fork Trail of the Middle Fork Salmon River, the actual river of no return. Um, we don't know how far we're going, but who knows? Hopefully, we catch a fish. Stopped here to fish. Caught three little trout. Missed a big one. Evan hasn't caught nothing. Claims he saw a salmon. Let's go 
Goatski has caught a handful of little guys. No, maybe baby cutthroat. See if they can't catch one for the video. That's where I caught mine. Give us something. Evan, why don't you describe the fish we just looked at in the water? First of all, I'm going to say I hooked about a 16 to 17 inch rainbow here. Couldn't get him in. He was hooked for about three seconds. I'm looking at a pool that has, what would you say, five to seven? Yeah. Five to seven, 12 to 18 inch rainbows. And a bunch of suckers and some white fish. All right, Evan, what happened? got about four hours till it gets dark. Set up the hammocks. Isaac's over there. All right, tonight's dinner. Beef stroganoff with noodles. Get a cook. All right, for dinner tonight, we had some beef, beef stroganoff with noodles. Uh, it was a 2.5 serving mountain house. Damn good, that's what it is. Um, God, God, crazy and Well, it was good. It was only two and a half servings, though, as I said. So we're kind of hungry. So I think once we get back from fishing, we're gonna make a breakfast skillet, a little midnight snack. Oh, I will. Tell me about the fishing. This is my fly trap holder. I'm sponsored. You can hold your tippet, your flies, extra, your forceps. These are my Reddington waders, also a sponsor. My Columbia Performance Fishing Gear, also a sponsor. Hunt Eat Hat, made by Giannis Patelis, also a sponsor. Thank you. Great B-roll. We're cutting this. Up, what's the update, boys? We're in the tent. Went to fishing.
fishing on Bear Creek. Caught like 10 fish. We're gonna need some breakfast skillet, but we didn't get that out of my... So now we're trying to wake up at 6 a.m. in about 6 hours. Sorry, 7 hours. And go hiking, game watching, hog catching, and stop daddy. Uh, we tied off the bear bag. In Follow place. me at Kynastros21. Good night. So what have we here? We're making breakfast. Breakfast skillet. We made a fire because it's really, really cold. Um, Got to keep it pretty small because we don't want to blend anything on fire. Um, we were going to get up early and do a morning hike, but we've been a little sleep deprived the past few days, and so today we decided to just keep sleeping for about another hour and a half. Um, felt pretty good. Yeah, so we'll give you another update when we can. Follow Klein Oscars 21 on Instagram. It's Evan Klein 21 now. Sorry, Evan Klein 21. Alright, here is today's fishing spot. Pretty nice. About to go swimming. Have you inhaled? We're just moving through your mouth, just pulling it in the mouth. Like Throw some gang signs or something. Alrighty, we are back at camp. Let me fold my do rag back over. Evan's got the do rag. Cooking up some rice with lentils. Not going? really sure what lentils are, but I'm like really hungry, so we're gonna eat it. And then, in maybe an hour or two, we're having this raspberry crumble dessert. Should be good. Yeet. Just took my first camp shower of the trip. Pretty nice. Feeling damn good. Don't take a video of me leaving the fish because I'm Ski and I are <laughs> about to go collect some firewood and Evan's gonna go fishing by himself. He just said not to record him in case he never comes back. I was not joking, but I guess he's gonna go. Any anything you want me to tell mom and dad? Air this damn vlog. That's all I got to say. Oh my god. You heard it, folks. Over here, black snake with orange and yellow spots, a bunch of little tiny spots. 
spots. So we're trying to get them out of there or wait long enough to go so Maybe we should go on the rocks and look down on them. What to do. That white speck is his head. He's gonna slip through the net, isn't he? Evan's second fish in four casts. See if he can land it. Must be tall, a nice bow right there. A little rainbow. It appears he's unhooked. Now he's gonna get him out. Is he still there? Yeah. That was not a bad one at all. That's one of the nights for sure. Let him rest. Alrighty, what are we doing, boys? We're uh, sitting outside by the fire here, hoping to keep the bear that went through our camp the other day at bay. We're sleeping in the mocks. Hopefully, at least, unless something goes south. There's the mocks. You got me on top, then Evan, then there's Sandy. Um, the water. We got a whole bunch of water. We're gonna hope to stoke the fire as long as we can. We'll yeah. keep her at a dull roar. Our tents are way over there. Only you can promote wild wildfires. Yeah. We got a double fire ring to get them further from dynamics. Yep. Getting up in the morning and grinding in New York at Murray Rock. Gonna be a cold one. What's the plan for the morning? Make some oatmeal and then Travel is far farther than we've ever traveled along the Middle Fork Trail on the River of No Return. See some aminals in the morning? That's the hope. Hopefully see some aminals. Just saw a nice mule deer. Mule deer yeah. roaming through camp. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully we catch some hogs. See you there. Alrighty folks. Last night we slept in the mocks. And it was chilly. Uh, was this kid's idea, worst idea he's ever had. Just trying to thaw out this fire I started. In about half an hour, if we eat some oatmeal, should be sending it deep into the Frank Church River of Mill Turn. Deeper than we've ever gone. People who don't understand, can you blame someone? We're here about as high as we're going to climb, except for maybe our potential mountain hike tomorrow. About 6,375 feet up, according to the trusty Garmin here, a sponsor. Uh, yep, exactly 6,375 feet up. And we're just realizing how void of life this place is. Look at all these empty hillsides. No bugs flying around, no birds. No water. Just ski. A couple Swiss or sweets. Any comments? I would agree, it's pretty devoid of life. Yeah. <laughs> we're a little over halfway through our excursion. Right now, we're just looking forward to that first big meal in Missoula. First big fish. First big fish, too. We need to catch a tanker. I might impose the we can't leave until we catch a tanker rule. Wow. I might be dusk fishing here. That would be a send. Ain't nobody got time for this. 
Like we'll be out of prime fishing by the time we get down there at this point. about six miles out, six mile hike, 2.2 pro flies, hoping that these fish are pretty unpredictable. Looking to catch some hogs. Let's get it. Ooh, you do. You do. You got the lights? All right, folks. Yeah. We're about halfway Sounds back. up there of our six mile one way excursion. That means 12 miles total. Did some good fishing, about to eat some tuna, which is bleh. But we also have Santa Fe black beans and rice, which is my favorite. Oh Jesus. If you can't tell, I'm pretty exhausted. Been hungry for about four or five hours. Yeet. Any comments, Evan? For all you math geeks out there, it's 9 of 12 miles. The dock? I don't know. I'm just hungry. <laughs> I spilled a couple times out there while we were waiting. So we need... Got a little sliced up on the fingy. We need point... Evan got sliced up, ports, right? but good yep. thing we got a EMT so with us, because he fixed us right up. Now we're better than ever. I'm hungry. Alrighty folks, we got a little bit of a good news, bad news situation. Last couple days I haven't caught more than three fish in a single uh, trip out. Today I caught over ten. I caught a really a couple of really nice ones. But I seem to have fallen a bit ill. Hoping it's just dehydration really the best case scenario so hydrate up rest up I sent really hard today thinking about doing the same thing tomorrow so gotta get better yeet it's about 1 30 haven't really done much at all today boys fished close to camp fever is down but uh stomach doesn't feel great Thinking about maybe going to the pools later. We'll find out. Is this a vlog update? I can update them or? Huh? Yeah, we'll see what the camera Yep. I was just kind of hanging out the last day. Um, it was kind of hot, too hot to do anything else. Though. I didn't want to just sit around really. I'm waiting for dinner. There will be more updates. Alrighty folks, just had our last real meal, 
Idahoan potatoes and albacore tuna, courtesy of the doc. Any comments, Evan? Pretty good meal. I just got back from a little fishing trip. Missed a few hogs. Caught a few cuts. I can't say the rest. Alrighty, well tonight we're planning on going to the uh, back down to the river to do a little bit of fishing. We don't really know where yet, but we're planning on doing like an hour or two more fishing to uh, close off the last night here. Then we should be uh, sleeping and packing out early tomorrow. Oh, alrighty folks, it's about 8 o'clock, we are doing our final fishing excursion of the trip. Put the lands and hogs. We did not bring any of our water purification tech, so it's a bit of a treat. I think I'm going to try and get some catch footage. And there's Evan with a small one. Hold it up! Nice. How fun is it? Baby, Baby rainbow people. Another little guy. Baby bow. How's the angle? Good. This pretty much ends our trip out here. Angle it up. There we go. Take two. This pretty much ends our trip. This last day. Caught probably about 20 fish. Kind of cool though. Haven't seen anybody out here. I think we might be the only people out here today. Comments. I mean, it's been a great trip, plenty of scenery. I mean, with the mountains, you can't even complain. We caught some good fish, caught a lot of fish. Yeah, we full scent, and it was worth it. So uh, we just had a bit of a scare coming into camp. Evan, what did we see? Saw the uh, mule deer doe that seems to be frequent in the area. Seen her at least twice, possibly three times. Uh, she snorted at me probably while I was taking a grump the other day. She probably was in camp last night. Yep, and we uh, were all spooked about bears, thinking about bears. We walk in, all I see is an animal. Spooked the boys a little bit. Now we're trying to go to bed so we can get up early enough to make it back before noon. All right, Budskis, it's about eight o'clock. We've got both tents down. Our packs are pretty much packed. We've got about two, three hour hike out of here. Maybe four. Three and a half, four. I'm feeling pretty dead. Might have pneumonia. We'll find out later. I had a lot of granola and I feel like I'm gonna my pants. You gonna bleep that? Yeah. My pants. Alright, Evan. 
What are your final thoughts for the trip? You know what my final thoughts are? I don't know. You can't ask me a question or something. My final thoughts on what? The food? On the fishing. How was the fishing? Fishing was fine. A lot of tiny fish, but I still caught quite a few numbers. Caught one or two decent fish. Got a bull trout among the group, so we can't really complain. Pretty much what we expected. How was the food? Pretty, uh, pretty bad. I'm not allowed to cuss anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I refer to me I can't swear, so. It was really, really bad. <laughs> That's what the food was. How was the camping? Camping was fine, actually. My sleeping bag kept me nice and warm. In fact, I slept uh, unzipped the whole time. But besides that, now we've got the good hike out of here. Should be fun. We got ski over there, packing up. Probably the shittiest looking pack I've ever seen. <laughs> the worst pack I've ever seen. How is the wildlife? Little, honestly, a little disappointed. All we saw was some mule deer doe. Probably the same one four or five times. But, um,. It ended up being much emptier than we thought. Not really much alive. Besides the chipmunks. Oh, I saw a pine barn here too. But yeah. Now we're leaving. Ingle McCringleberry? It's a bittersweet ending to this trip. Definitely looking forward to getting back to civilization. I hope the world hasn't gone into an apocalypse. There'd be no way of knowing. Evan's looking forward to taking a poop in the toilet. Uh, a little sad to be leaving this place. It's been our home for about five days. But uh, I'm looking forward to my bed. Disappointed we didn't see any bears. Heard one. Seen a lot of bear scat, lion tracks. Later days, dudes. So, we've been going at a pretty hefty clip. Already about halfway back, maybe more. Evan would say less. The creek is raging a lot more, a lot faster than when we were coming in. About a hundred yards that way we saw some more mountain lion tracks. They're out here folks. Do my lips. So uh, we made it back to the trailhead. <laughs> so uh, we made it back to the trailhead by 10 o'clock which is an hour and 45 minute hike which is way faster than we had hoped for. We're in the parking lot for about 40 minutes just changing and packing up. Now we're eating it to Stanley to fill up the tank, fill up our tanks, wash our hands, then we're eating at home. Comments. We're all pretty greasy. A good hand washing will feel good. Folks, it is 10:49 p.m. local time here in Billings, Montana. 
We've been grinding pretty hard. Evan grinded. Uh, we decided to go through Missoula to stop at our favorite local watering hole, the uh, Tamarack Bar and Grill, downtown Missoula. We all ate way too much food. Agreed. Agreed. You still I mean, have some in here. Yeah, we still have boxes of it. Still have boxes of it. I might eat some in before here. I go to bed, actually. Besides Ooh. that, we're at mile 2095. Yep. We crossed 2000. Yep. And so uh, we're hoping to grind all the way. I'm hoping to grind all the way into at least Bismarck, North Dakota, which would be another four and a half, five hours. And then it'll be Evan's turn again to drive. He's hoping to get some sleep after eating some uh, food. And then, uh, yeah, should be home in a matter of years, 12 hours or so. It's yeah. not too bad. Very lucky to be done driving. My legs were starting to cramp up. Uh -oh. Got about a whole burger that I didn't eat at the restaurant. When we were driving, we actually saw a pack of, uh, a herd of about 80 elk Evan spotted, so that was pretty cool. After not seeing much in the actual wilderness, we saw it. Uh, how are the wings? I'm gonna be honest, pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, one thing we forgot to mention at the last update, the first time I was driving, we actually were about a mile or two away we were from quite the trash gas. heap here, folks. We, we made it back of our nearly 3,000 mile journey. We're about to launch three brown trout into the native <laughs> waters into our new sewer system here. Dude, we're all, all of us have anywhere between, I got two hours of sleep in the past, what? Like 36 30, hours, and I drove eight hours. Like he got like four hours of sleep. He drove like. I'm seven, about ready to drop. I like got, a I got two. Hours. Yeah, we got, we all got a solid like anywhere between two to five, and we're all pretty tired. But it was a good trip. I'm gonna take the fly rod inside because there's gonna be a 30 inch brown in there in a second. <laughs> That's all I can say. All right, just say, say goodbye. I'm, I'm going to cut that. Bye now. I know you've always been a friend to me. I've struggled hard, but I've failed to see that you have always wanted something.
always been a friend to me. I've struggled hard, but I failed to see that you have always wanted something back. You wanted more than this heart. I failed.